everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel i'm melanie and i do a large variety of videos from concert videos to story times trying things on camera food hauls collective hauls beauty box unboxings and vlogs to name but a few i am back with an unboxing from a small business called oak and stone organics oak and stone organics basically do bath milks powdered bath milks and things like that and they've been around as i filmed this around eight weeks i remember following them just before they launched and i've been following them since now i have bought bath milks from another business on instagram a little while ago and i did film an unboxing which still as i film this isn't up um lots of reasons firstly i wanted to try the products that i got before i put the video up and i'm not 100 percent happy with what i bought and how it came presented and how it didn't have any ingredients on etc so that's why i've not put it up i've not even posted on instagram about that one but this is a totally different business this it deserves its own spotlight because every business does so if you're wondering why there's a tea bag on the box it's because my address has been written on the box it's not on with a sticker like lots of small businesses they do put stickers on so just so i don't put my address all over youtube i've just put a tea bag on so on well i think just over a week ago they started to do what they call a bag in corner where if they've got leftover products from things that they've made like if they've made up a batch of bath milks and they've got like 80 grams left or 100 grams they've now started to sell it in the bag in corner as a smaller product so it's a lot cheaper and it's a good way for people to either try different scents products or get extras with their orders now when it first launched i went straight onto the bag in corner within 20 minutes and they'd all sold out and there's been other bits and pieces added but some of it was quite pricey and i didn't want to spend a lot of money a because i've never bought from this brand before b because i do have other bath products and as i said i do have another bath powder and i did get a large one of that and i've got a lot left and also because i've been spending way too much money as you've probably seen there's been a lot of videos going up and also the stuff that i've not even put videos up of that i've been buying and i need to slow down on my spending so when there was more expensive items on either the day before or the same day as what i've bought i almost bought one of them but then when you add postage i was like oh i don't know it, it took it over 20 pounds and i didn't really put that much in so on sunday these were added and it was like marketed as letterbox size packets of or pouches of the product so i think there was three different scents but one of them there was two versions of one of them you could get um sliced oranges and leaves in so you could make it into a nice bath so i got three obviously because there was three scents and i did get the one where there was bits in that you put in your water even though I got some with the other company and I wasn't massively a fan of that. But that's just personal preference. And the postage was only a pound. Um, basically because I think you was only meant to buy one or two. But I bought three. And yeah, I just thought it's a good way to try it. Also, it did say that you put the whole thing in the bath. And I remember thinking... I would probably get two baths of, out of each one because you don't need as much as people are making it look basically so as I said this was bought on Sunday it was dispatched Monday which is an amazing super quick turnaround and it arrived Tuesday which shocked me because I think I can't remember the name of the owner because I don't think she's ever I think she's only said it a couple of times um, but she said, oh, expect to get your parcels on Wednesday. She said it on Insta Story. So I didn't expect to get it to the Wednesday, to be perfectly honest. And so when it arrived on the Tuesday and it didn't fit through my letterbox, um, I was like, oh. So 
yeah, super quick turnaround was the other one. I waited a few weeks for and it did arrive ahead of time as well. I think they were saying it was four to five week turnaround and it arrived in about three-ish. I mean, you'll have to watch the video to find out because I'm pretty sure I did go into more details. But yeah, so it took me long enough to get to this point. It's come in this gorgeous box. I love that it's got that massive stamp on it and there is a sticker here. I think these stickers go on the bigger packets because I recognised it. Um, so all I've done is unstick the sticker, take my dress off that bit. A lot of people don't realise this and I keep telling everyone, on the postage sticker is your postcode and your house number. People are taking off their house address and leaving that on which is basically giving the house number and the postcode. So if you put the postcode in Google, you're going to get the street address and people are going to find out your address so you're actually not hiding your address. Just so you know. Oh, I almost tipped you over. So let's get into the box without showing my address. arrived I expected it to be wrapped in paper and tied with like string or whatever she's tying it with because she constantly shows her packing up orders and she always says that no matter how small the order is we will do it pack it up like this and it's always beautifully packaged in this gorgeous paper and tied with this I think it's string or some kind of natural material so when I just opened it, I expected to find it the way that she's basically showing everyone how it comes arrived. But it didn't. It's got no t nothing in it that looks like anything like she's advertising. So that's a little bit of a letdown because that was one of the reasons I bought from her. Because it just looked so beautiful. And now if I would have sent this as a gift and it didn't go like that, that's just disappointing so this is how it arrived this is the card the business card now i do like this because it does show the products and it's upside down um where a lot of business cards just have the logo on and then it's not a personalized card i do like my personalized cards it's one of my favorite things to get so the first the first one is Blue Lagoon. Now, I love the name and I'm hoping it's actually blue when it hits the water because I love blue water. I have this thing about blue water and I don't know why, but I do have this thing about blue water. So it's 60 grams. I think these were about £2.80. And on the back it says Oak and Stone Organics, Organic Vegan Bath Milk. It says the ingredients. It tells you how to use it and then it tells you it's not suitable for children under three and everything that you would need to know basically it does say it's 100 grams which it's not um but yeah that's that if you want to know what it smells like let's have a little sniff very minty it's very similar to the one that I've got it's super minty and it's got um I don't know there's another scent in there like um, a really dry scent that I can't work out what it is just looking at the ingredients because it might tell me it's got spirulina so it will go blue tea tree Menthol, so it's got peppermint oil in, but there's something in it that makes it smell like I don't know, there's something I recognize about the smell, but I can't find it in the ingredients. Hmm, but it basically says to use for maximum benefit, use around two heap tablespoons of bath milk. Or six to eight heap tea sp spoonfuls if you're using a wooden spoon and mix well using your hand then sit back and soak up the magic don't let the mess no problem simply place the same amount of product into one of our tea bags and soak squeeze and wash in 
she did say to use she basically said to use all this in one go but when you read how much to put in according to the back you would definitely get two baths out of this so i'm definitely going to have two baths out of this i think it's you know ridiculous to put it all in i mean that would be a super luxurious bath but it's two pounds i think it was about 280 for one of these so if you can make that last you should do and i will do it smells great though but it's got a scent to it that i can't work out what it is so maybe when i use it i might know next item is called into the orangery I struggle with that word I think I found it I actually said it right then so that's 60 grams it's got the same information on the back you know ingredients how to use and warnings which is great this is what I didn't get with the last order that I got somewhere else there was none of these leaflets on because I kept looking for them and they weren't on so I don't know if they're now sending out the correct stuff but I'm pretty sure if you sell anything that you put on the body you have to put ingredients and how to use and any warnings so I'm just going to smell this one. Oh my god it smells like freshly squeezed orange juice oh I love this one I love a good citrus scent if you know me and I avoid them because after well 90% of the time they smell artificial I think this one it's just going to be like bathing in buddy it's going to smell like I've had a bath in pure orange juice this is definitely one in, for in the morning or if you're really tired or you, if you like going out at night and you, you're having a bath and getting ready and you're feeling a bit lethargic and you've not got much energy this is definitely one for that like lifting this will lift your mood as well i think this will be a good mood booster as well as the, like into the lagoon that's a mint one mint's really good for like helping with low moods so that's two now as i said there was two versions of this there was this one where you could get some dried fruit and some leaves um, I think this one is only for one bath by the feel of it there's, there's not much powder in here so I think this one definitely is just a one bath use and this is called Into the Meadows or Into the Meadow, can't tell gorgeous, I like the name, love the name and then on the back as with the others it's got all the ingredients, how to use it and any warnings now I know for a fact this is lavender and I can go either way with lavender. Like growing up, I hated lavender. I absolutely couldn't stand lavender in anything until last year when I started to use candles by Noah. And my favourite is Anxious Mind, and that's heavily infused with lavender. But I absolutely love that candle. So this one, let's have a little sniff. I love that it's got orange pieces in and leaves. I'm going to take a leaf out. They are actually real leaves and oranges now that smells gorgeous guys now it's very this is definitely a one use one because she put the dried fruit in if i would have got the other version of this without the fruit in it would have done two baths but because obviously she's putting in the dried fruit as well it takes up a lot of room that is nice really strong lavender scent This would be perfect if, like me, you suffer from anxiety, PTSD, you get nervous, if you've got like an interview coming up or you've got to go somewhere but you're having a really bad anxiety day. And this is something I do as well myself is I sometimes have a bath with things that I know will, that will relax me. So this would be perfect for that. This would be perfect to help you go to sleep if you're having bad sleep or you're waking up a lot in the night or you're waking up early in the morning you can't get back to sleep this would be good sorry i'm just reading it it's got lavender and ylang ylang in it i really like this one this is definitely as i keep saying this is a definitely a one use one because the dried fruit in it took up a lot of the room 
And that's the third one. Now that's everything that I got in this order. Now, based on looking at it and how it arrived and stuff, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because she keeps saying that no matter how small your order is, we'll wrap it like this. And she wraps it beautifully and ties it with string and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So when I opened it, I did expect it to be like that because she said every order arrives like that and it didn't. She said even if you just buy a wooden spoon, we'll still wrap it up beautifully. So it was a little bit of a letdown in that respect. Now, I love the box. I love how it's got the logo on the outside and the inside. That just adds something to it. I like how the bath milks are powd are packaged. I love that you can see them. I love the brown bags that they're in. I love the stickers. The stickers match the contents or the scents. Love that. Love the labels on the back. I love that they've got the full ingredients, how to use them, and they list different ways on how to use the powders. Also warnings as well, which is absolutely amazing. Really fantastic that that is put on there like that. And yeah, I like that about it. Based on smelling them, I am in love with the orange scented one. I love the Blue Lagoon one because I do love mint things, but there's a scent in it that it might be one of the dry ingredients and it might not smell like that when it's in the bath but at the moment it's just got this scent that I can't work out what it is and I don't love it and I don't hate it but based so far the orange one is going to probably be my favourite I like the into the meadow one because there are days when I do definitely need something that's going to make me all relaxed so I feel based on first thoughts first impressions if I am to buy one, it's probably going to be the orange one. Now, I've not tried any of these yet, so, you know, who knows? Um, but I do like the concept behind the business. I like that they're still very, very small. And I like what I've seen so far from what goes on Instagram. And, yeah, I probably will buy from them again. I'll probably buy small things like this. I'll probably buy stuff on the bargain corner just to save a bit of money. I have spent too much and I do have some expensive months coming up like September, October. Well, October's all right, but September. Well, October isn't okay, but September, October, November, December are really bad months for me, but I do like my baths and I'm not buying bath stuff from anywhere else. So I probably will treat myself to probably at least the orange one depending on what I feel once I've tried them all. This video took much longer than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be like 10 minutes or under, but I do like to talk. I do like to give as much information as I can because it's important in case you were thinking of buying things like this, you might have come across this video thinking, oh, I might buy from them. So if you want to know what I think of them, I'm not doing vlogs at the moment, but saying that, who knows when this video is going to go up. Um, I will have tried at least one of these actually I would have tried all of them by the time this video goes up so if you want to know what I think about them please leave a comment as always I will be 100% honest so if I don't like it I will tell you but at the end of the day and this is what I say about everything if I don't get on with something it doesn't mean that you won't get on with it everyone's different we have different skins we have different likes we have different everything we're all unique even if I love this, you might not love it because we are different. We should all be individuals. Don't follow the crowd. Do whatever you want. Too much crowd following goes on in the world and we don't need to do that. But yeah, any questions, leave them. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. Then every time I upload a similar video, you will get an alert. Hope you're all doing well. Have a great day no matter what you're doing. And thank you for watching.